Well, August 6th, 1945 is a day that is unforgettable to, or should be to anyone alive at the time. I was, I was a teenager, a counselor in a summer camp, it was announced in the morning that uh, the atom bomb had been dropped on Hiroshima, city destroyed. Uh, everyone listened and went off to their morning activity baseball game, swimming, whatever it might be. I was so appalled, I couldn't believe it. And not only at the event, but that nobody cared. Uh, and to this day, I have never lost that feeling. I still have it. I can't imagine how people can not be utterly horrified at what happened and simply lacking concern over the fact that we are going getting closer and closer to terminal nuclear war. Not, uh, not my judgment. Uh, as everyone should know, the famous doomsday clock last January was uh, the analysts uh, dropped minutes, moved to seconds. Now, 100 seconds to midnight. Uh, since then, since January, we have been moving closer. Uh, President Trump had already abandoned the uh, Intermediate Nuclear Forces Treaty, immediately following it with the testing of missiles that violate the treaty, basically saying to others, uh, come on and join us in destroying, helping destroy the world. Since January, he's abandoned the Open Skies Treaty, which goes back to Eisenhower, which offered another limited protection against the threat of nuclear war. He's uh, posed frivolous objections to the signing of the New START Treaty. The Russians have been pleading for negotiations about this for some time. It's due to be signed in a few months. It's probably too late to do anything. That's the last of the major. Uh, that's the end of the arms control regime. There's no threatening to uh, start uh, nuclear tests, uh, violating the comprehensive nuclear test ban treaty, which actually the United States never ratified, but has observed that's almost 30 years old again encouraging others to do the same. Uh, meanwhile, pouring money into the uh, development of new and more destructive weapons. Uh, others are doing it too, but this mutual discourse stimulates others to do so. Uh, arms manufacturers are euphoric. Uh, huge new contracts coming in to develop new means to destroy everything. And, and they plan long range, so they're expecting later contracts to try to find ways uh, to defend ourselves against the weapons that we are constructing that others will construct. Uh, this is all part of the manufacturing system. It's part of the way to stimulate, to try to make it look as if we're in a recovery, which of course we're not, uh, to, for, to advance electoral prospects. All of this goes on with no comment, virtually. We take a look at the campaign, uh, nobody talks about it, maybe a word here and there. Uh, even among left critics, it's very hard to hear anything. Uh, meanwhile, uh, provocative actions are uh, taking place along the Russian border. Uh, Trump is sending a major the naval contingents to the South China Sea. Uh, uh, the background is one of increasing provocation and development of massive means for destruction. Going back to August 6, 1945, it was clear to anyone with a 
brain functioning that human intelligence had reached the point where it would soon have the means to destroy everything. Hiroshima bomb was still limited. You could only destroy a single city with a bomb, but it was perfectly obvious that technological advances would soon lead to greater destructive capacity. Now that happened by 1953 when thermonuclear weapons were exploded. At that point, yes, human ingenuity had found the ways to dis essentially destroy life on Earth. And it gets worse after that. Anyone who's looked at the record of the nuclear age can only conclude that it's a virtual miracle that we've survived. A case after case where it came very close to launch of nuclear weapons uh, averted either some mostly by by accidental misinterpretation of signals the automated signals fail all the time uh, human intervention at the last moment uh, sometimes uh, reckless acts of leaders uh, it's almost miraculous and miracles don't persist uh, we're perpetuating an age of uh, destruction, virtually of organized human life. Uh, this is, I should say, one of two races to disaster. The other is failure to uh, address appropriately the growing, the threatening environmental catastrophe of global warming. And in the unique case of the United States, not only refusing to deal with it, but racing as quickly as possible toward the abyss. It's almost impossible to observe what's happening to human beings and think that this is a viable species. I just can't get over the amazement that nobody cares. It's un unimaginable. Yeah.